guys it's wednesday night and my entire video got corrupted and i was like literally just in the final like little cuts and stuff like that so please be nice to me because <laughs> right now i just quit editing because my head hurts and i'm just watching rupaul's drag race so what is poppin party people welcome back to my channel if you don't know who i am my name is dion dion the peon i am a tiktoker trying to monetize across all social media platforms thank you so much for coming along on this trip today we are doing a big collective favorites video i love favorites videos i just i love old school 2012 youtube i think that the world needs it i think we have gone towards like these high production crazy videos but i think people just love a favorites video they love a haul they love a get ready with me so that's what we're doing we're doing a favorites video all right so the first category we're gonna do are is clothing favorites my first clothing favorite these slippers from L.L. Bean. I love them. They're not the classic moccasins that everyone gets from L.L. Bean. I have those as well, but these are so comfortable. I I love them and I love the color. I have a purple robe. You gotta see it. <gasps> there. And yeah, that's, uh, that's, they, I love it. I feel like a grape. I should mention in my favorites, my robe. I got this for Christmas. And now I love it. It is giant. It is plushy. It is so much. I, we can't help but to stand. My next clothing favorite, y'all would have seen like a zillion times, especially on my TikToks and on my everything, is this yellow Ralph Lauren men's t-shirt or button down. It's so soft. I thrifted it for like $4. I wear it all the time. It's like my go-to comfy shirt. Next, we have... Something that if you follow me on TikTok, you would have seen so much, and that is this Abercrombie hoodie. I I love this. I was in between this and a really pretty like sage green, and while I was in Abercrombie, y'all know how it is, it's crazy. And I was like, well, I love pink, and I feel like I'll wear pink more. I didn't really realize it was relatively similar to my skin tone, and I do just kind of look like a male genital when I put it on, but it is so comfy. Y'all know those Abercrombie and Fitch hoodies slap so hard. It is so soft. It's so like thick. I know I'm a sustainable type of gal. Part of sustainability for me is, you know, if you're going to buy something, wear it for a long time, wear it for years and years, wear it all the time. I wear this every single day. So for me, the $35 that's going to an unsustainable company, yeah, I didn't like that, but I do wear this all the time. Um, I would love <laughs> one of them black or, yeah. I mean, I only need one hoodie in my life, but this color, I just, it was a choice. It was a choice to wash myself out in a hoodie, but luckily I kind of only wear it inside. Um, but if you do have any suggestions for sustainable brands that do hoodies that are very similar to the Abercrombie and Hollister feel, like that thick hoodie, please let me know because I love it. Okay, I'm getting a seat because I'm tired of sitting on my, my toesies. Ew, my toesies. Gross. Okay. Hoi. Hoi. Okay. Okay. Oh, love that. Jesus. Oh, and my last clothing favorite is a very recent find. Um, it's these men's jeans from L.L. Bean that I got and that I cropped. Um, they're in the wash right now, but I'll insert some Instagram photos of me in there. I've been wearing them nonstop. They are so comfortable. If you are into those Zara jeans, but you don't want to support Zara, which I understand because Zara is a pretty bad company. L.L. Bean is an ethical and sustainable company. They do a lot. They treat their employers or employees really, really well. If you're over like a 28 waist, like I'm a 28 waist and the smallest that they go is a 30 in the men's, but 
you know, I make it work and it's actually totally fine. I highly suggest going to get the 1912 jeans. Uh, so comfortable and they actually give you that kind of Zara 90s jeans that everyone is lusting after. So highly, highly recommend. Ooh, another clothing favorite that I just remembered is this hat from Lack of, Hol uh, Lack of Color. I think it's called a Raffia Cruiser. I wore this so much in the summer. This is actually so cute. Oh my God. I love this hat. Um, Lack of Color is an ethical company, but you know, it's expensive, but I do, I love this. I love their hats in general. All right, the next category are beauty favorites and I'm excited. The first beauty favorite I have, you've probably seen all over TikTok, uh, the Revlon One Step. I love this. I did my hair with it today. My mom tried this out and she loves it and she got one herself. It is so easy to use. It's just like there's how many settings? Yeah, cool, low, and high. And it's just a blowout brush and it just gives you such a smooth look and it's so easy. So what I do is I'm a night shower, hardcore night showerer. Shower. I will like shower, wash my hair. I put my hair in a braid last night and this morning it was still totally damp, which is just my hair. And then I blew it out and maybe took 10 minutes. And I always leave my bangs alone just cause like my bangs need to do their own thing. But yeah, it just gives you this super smooth look. I can do this like big nineties hair. I can do, you know, stuff with um, Velcro rollers. Like it's, I love it, it's so worth the money. It's my favorite thing. Sorry again about, you know, the lighting. My next beauty favorite, everyone talks about this, but it's the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I'm actually on my last legs of this. Um, it is pricey. It's my first ever like expensive mascara, but damn, does it live up to the hype. You guys have heard so much about this mascara, so I don't need to continue on. My next, uh beauty favorite is another cult classic it's the tarte shape tape you can see or maybe you can't see but like it is so literally out like i'm scraping the bottom of the barrel i just ordered a mini size because the expiration date is six months i've had this for two years um <laughs> so i figured maybe we do that and the lighting is maybe better getting the mini size is better and especially if i can get like this is light beige and then i want to get like light medium beige for the summer oh my god brenda i'm just gonna have these dots on my face it's cool it's festive i it covers everything it is the i will never use a different concealer it's just it's so worth it because you use so little of it i absolutely love this my next beauty favorite is a lip combo i'm actually wearing it today it is the lip things uh crazy for coffee cream cream uh beautiful brown tone nude with like I don't know i love browns on lips i think they're so underrated every time i go to a makeup store i'm like where are your browns they're like why so today i lined it with this lip liner which is rich chocolate and i think it's so so pretty and then if i want to go for a lighter look i use almond rose this is so beautiful i guess i should swatch it i guess that's what people do okay this is <clears throat> almond rose and this is the rich chocolate meet me meet me so they're slightly different but almond rose is a little bit lighter which i really like and then the crazy for coffee lipstick is i think so stunning it's just the prettiest nude color so i i like this is basically the only lip that I ever wear. If I ever wear anything but my natural lips, it's it's this combo. My next beauty favorite is this NYX The Brow Glue. It's actually kind of a recent favorite, but I love it. I It really just holds your brows into that spiky, lovely vibe, and it's so cheap. So highly, highly recommend this. I really like it. I don't think it's for everyone. I think some people might be like, this is weird. It's just putting glue on my face, but I stand this super hard. And speaking of brows, I have been using the Glossier Brow Flick for a while. I know everyone uses over the boy brow, but I really like the brow flick just because I already have 
relatively thick brows so i just use this to like go in and do little like strokes you can kind of see it there um it sticks it's really good yeah i have a color brown love it love it <clears throat> my voice cracked um is that it for beauty favorites do i have anything else i like actually i do okay one second where is it okay i tried out ColourPop for the first time this year and their stuff is so affordable and so incredible i got this um eyeliner which is literally the same color as my lip liner oh my god um that's the eyeliner and i'm wearing it right now i think it is so flattering on green eyes i think it really makes them pop and it's it lasts all day i also wear their um wait yeah this is definitely a favorite where is it <sighs> oh my god panic oh my god it's down there i'm not getting it i'm sorry the color pop liquid eyeliners wearing it today again lasts all day so easy to use felt tip liner jesus christ better or worse worse better okay worse oh, damn it. i'm so sorry about the lighting one day i'll get a light honestly and i have ColourPop shadows i'm just ColourPop in general is a big big beauty favorite i'm with oh 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 one last beauty favorite where is she beauty favorite is this uh maria nila uh true soft conditioner i got the giant size i will never use another conditioner it is curly girl method um friendly which i kind of like a little bit subscribe to the curly girl method kind of yes kind of no depends but it is vegan and cruelty free has argan oil sulfate and paraben free color god complex it's produced in sweden it's really um they have a lot of sustainable practices and my, I don't have soft hair. Like, my hair is just, like, thick. That's who she is. But this makes my hair so, so soft. I love this. Jesus Christ, this lighting. Jesus Christ, this lighting. Okay. My next favorite is a book favorite. And that is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. I listened to it on audiobook. It is like 57 hours long, but I've always loved the musical. I've always loved the story. It is the best book I have ever read. It is funny. It could have been written this year. It is so captivating. It, I mean, it's just such, everyone's like, yeah, duh, Dion, this is why it's a classic, but like Really, if you are my age and you've never read Les Miserables, if you're going on a road trip or you're bored in quarantine, I could not recommend it in enough. I was like, when I was reading it, I'm like, do people know about this book? Does everyone know about this? And everyone's like, yes, it is such a good book. It is, it's just, oh, it is so beautifully written. It is, again, it's funny. It's political as all hell. It's feminist in a lot of ways. It's Marxist in a lot of ways. I mean, it's just so good. It is so good. I cannot recommend it enough. And I used the Libby app, which is, it connects to your local library and then you listen to audiobooks through your local library, which I really like because instead of supporting Amazon through Audible, you can support your local library and still get audiobooks. And I love Libby. I think it's a great, great app. My next favorite is a music favorite and it's obviously Folklore by Taylor Swift. I, if you didn't know this, I'm the biggest Swifty Taylor Swift stan in the world. I have literally, I remember in 2008, when the EP, the single for Teardrops on My Guitar and Picture to Burn came out. And it was on Rhapsody, which was like the OG Spotify. And it was like new and country on the side. And my friend and I clicked on it and I listened to it and she was like, this is good. And I was like, this is transcendent. And that was it, 2008. It's like, I am obsessed with her. I love rep. Reputation was good. It's like, mm, I dig it. I actually really do like rep. Lover, 
great, fun, poppy, but folklore, oh, it just made me so happy that she was going back to her roots and Betty just sounds like something that could be off of Speak Now or uh, Fearless and it makes me so happy. I, oh my god, it just makes me so happy and I love Evermore. Don't get me wrong, I also love Evermore, but Folklore just like, I, it really, yeah, such a big favorite. Okay, music favorites, book favorites. Okay, we're gonna go into home favorites. My first home favorite is gonna be a lot of my bed stuff because I love bedding. I have these buttercream yellow sheets from Tekla Fabrics, ethical, sustainable, and the best sheets ever. They are so great. I love them, love them, love them so much. Um, my duvet and my shams are from Juna Designs. Again, Ethical and Sustainable is the Swedish company. So soft, so cute. I really, I just, this makes me so, so happy. I think it's so pretty. And finally, I got this beautiful, ah, you can kind of see it here, I'll show you. Bedspread at an estate sale for $30. And it's so Blair Waldorf and I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. My next home favorite is my Shark Duo Clean Pet um, Vacuum. It is so lightweight, it is so easy to use. I was never a vacuum person and now I am. It's just like my favorite thing. I think it's it's relatively affordable. I would definitely get it over like a Dyson or everything. I really, really like it. My next favorite is my drying rack from Ikea. It is literally $14. I really don't like to put my clothes in the dryer. I hardly put, the only thing I put in the dryer are towels basically. I air dry everything else. And I love this clothing rack from Ikea. It folds up so nicely. It hold so much i just think it's so nice and your fabric softener stays on for longer and your clothes feel better i just if you don't air dry your clothes i think you should start i air dry everything including my bedding i just think it's so 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 nice all right and my last home favorites are two dog puzzles one is from nina audison you can get it at outward hound i got mine from ll bean you can get them anywhere it's this dog puzzle. I really like it to feed JJ his treats and everything, I think. JJ is one of those dogs. I know there's some dogs that just like go after all their food and like eat it at once, but JJ likes to work for their food and that's like the scavenger instinct in dogs. And so I really like to like utilize that. So I love this puzzle. And then I also have this snuffle mat from Shop Potty. I know you can get them at Walmart. I just got them from their personal website because I don't like Walmart. And it's so cute. It's like pink and you hide treats and food all in it. So that's how I feed JJ his meals. I don't feed it in a bowl. I put them in one of the puzzles. Um, my roommate has a slow feeder and so I also use that. And she can use the, um, the oh, shop puzzle. That's what it was. The snuffle mat. So I really like it. And I find that JJ eats his food more because he gets to work for it. And I just like seeing him solve little puzzles. And I think that is going to conclude this favorites video. I'm so sorry about the lighting. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love favorites videos. And I will link everything in the description box. Yeah, follow me on Instagram at D on the Peon. Follow me on TikTok at D on the Peon. Subscribe, like, comment. Tell me what you'd like to see. I have a ton of video ideas coming up. And I will see you guys on Sunday or Thursday, whenever this is going up. Bye.